13 5 o'clock news. Uh, good evening, everyone. On this Friday, Cynthia Smoot has the evening off. I'm Chris Cato. And I'm Linda Hurtado. Thanks for joining us. If exploding cell phone batteries can do this to a Jeep, what could Samsung's recalled phones do on a plane? Fox 13 consumer reporter Sarbani Banerjee has been following this recall, and we just got some new information. Yeah, we did. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is now saying stop using those phones immediately. Don't wait for the replacement. Power them down wherever you are. The Federal Aviation Administration even quicker to tell travelers not to use those phones on planes. More than 2 million recalled after an overheating problem with the battery cell caused by what the company is calling a rare manufacturing process error. Imagine if what happened to the St. Pete family's Jeep happened on a plane. The Federal Aviation Administration warning passengers about Samsung's recalled Galaxy Note 7s while flying. Don't charge it, don't even turn it on. This case was one of at least 35 reported fires caused by the new phone, prompting the massive recall. The issue, a malfunction with the lithium ion battery. Dr. Alex Volinsky, professor of mechanical engineering at USF, explains. It's like a pressurized cylinder. When you start to blow into the balloon, at a certain point it's going to explode. Plus, in addition to that, there's heat generated inside the battery, which can start the reaction possibly. In the wrong circumstances, any battery, not just those in the Samsung phones, can catch on fire. There's a warning directly on the battery. But do you so think that does this? That? Well, of course not. Lithium batteries charge fast and hold the charge. They're the go-to for everything from phones to laptops to portable chargers. And they're everywhere. Less than a month ago, a local high school student woke up when his charger blew up. There was also the huge hoverboard recall after a series of explosions and fires. The common denominator in all of these? The battery. But what's making the battery fail could be any number of things from manufacturing materials to the environment. It could be even the case for the cell phone, which in this case is black, and it would overheat due to the direct sun exposure in the car. Look at this experiment conducted by a mechanical and chemical engineer at Worcester Polytech, proving that when exposed to heat, some batteries not only ignite, but explode. In the meantime, the precaution is when you're charging your cell phone, don't expose it to external heat or direct sunlight and stay away from your cell phone when you're charging it. And something else that you can do is use the charger that goes with your phone and matches the voltage. Using a different brand can increase the risk of stress on the battery. And remember, in this case with the Note 7, you can trade in your phone with your carrier while you wait for the fix from Samsung. Thank you, Sir Bonnie. So we're following breaking news from Austin, Texas, where a car is dangling from the side of a parking garage. Look at that. Well, the good news here is no one is inside that car and police have blocked the area off. And that parking garage is facing an alleyway, alleyway rather, so this is not posing a danger to pedestrians below or street traffic. We don't know how this happened, but we will continue to monitor it and bring you updates as we get them. Amazing pictures here. And this evening, we're also 